News Channel 5 in your community today. Sports Director Andy Baskin served as the MC for Life Bank's Legacy of Life Luncheon, held today at Cleveland Brown Stadium. The event celebrates those who give and those who receive life through organ donations, something very close to Andy's heart. Someone in Cincinnati donated a set of lungs for my brother who needed to have a lung transplant for cystic fibrosis. And he didn't have much time left. So you can look at it any way you want. For me, life is a matter of perspective and that it gave me four months to say goodbye to my brother that I never really would have had a chance to do. Former NFL Bengals player Icky Woods was one of the keynote speakers at today's event. And a local mother was honored today with LifeBank's 2012 Legacy of Life Award. While a tragic car crash took the life of her daughter and son, their legacy is living on through their organ donation. News Channel 5's Dave Arnold has more. You have helped further Life Bank's mission. The stack of tissues at the Legacy of Life luncheon today tells it all. Parents and family members sharing their sad moment of organ donation after a loved one's tragic death. Two touching Cincinnati Bengals stories, one from Mickey Woods, a father of a son who died from an asthma attack, the other wide receiver Chris Henry's mother, recounting how she sat with him in the hospital after an automobile accident, still with his heart beating, deciding to donate his organs to give life to others. This is such an honor. But LifeBank's Legacy of Life Award this year was given to honor a local mother, Laura Erbard DePiro, for her efforts to educate the public on the value of organ and tissue donation. Almost two years ago to the day, Laura and her husband lost two children, 17-year-old Aaron and 13-year-old Andrew, in a tragic car accident on their way to school that News Channel 5 told you about then. Laura, a nurse, had had the organ donation discussion with her daughter, not realizing the impact that talk would later have for her and both children a day apart. They were both very giving in their own way. Very different personalities, but very giving in their own way. That giving turned out to be her own. I think Aaron would be smiling ear to ear and laughing at what a big ruckus everyone was making over this. Like, why, why are you making such a big deal out of this? This is the right thing to do. And just had, had a gift for being able to work with older people. And I think she would think it was great that even even in death, she could still help somebody. There weren't many dry eyes here, and it was not lost on the DePiros. When you come to a, an event like this and you meet tra uh, transplant recipients, it, you see it, it's real. It's not just somebody, oh yes, you saved a life. You see the life, the person walking, breathing, eating, and how grateful they are to be here. In Cleveland, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. Such a powerful and yes. important message. Very much so.